A teacher once told me something that was really inspiring to me, so I'd love to share it with all of you. Did you know that a jellyfish will actually, it never dies. It regenerates itself. It knows how to regenerate its system. I find that incredible. So then I think to myself, how do we regenerate ourselves, at least for this lifetime, to feel more energized? Well, meditation. I wanted to share a little ed tip about UCSD. They have a mindfulness institute, and they talk a lot about heart coherence. Um, raise your hand if you've ever heard of the term heart coherence, if you know what that means. One. OK, great. So here we go for the ed tip, heart coherence. Many of us think all of our intelligence is in our brain. And if you've ever thought about trying to figure something out with a decision, and you're churning in your brain trying to figure it out, and it just doesn't happen. But then maybe you go for a walk, and you let it go. And you kind of rest in the heart, and you're just going with the flow, and then poof, all of a sudden, you get this insight. Well, chances are you're in that place of that quiet stillness of the mind. The mind is quiet, and you're in your heart. Heart coherence is when you drop into the heart space and there is a connection between the heart and the brain that they're actually working together. So the energy is moving from here up as opposed to here down. One is phonetic and one is coherent. So I wanted to share that with you because we could take just 10 seconds and I invite you to close your eyes, if you would, and allow yourself to have a mental vacation. Just see for 10 seconds if you can let go a little bit more than you thought you could, because we don't have to think all the time. And so what I invite you to do is take a nice deep breath and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Because sometimes the smartest thing we can do is shut off our mind and come back to here.